Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss difference between amylose and amylopectin. Amylose and amylopectin are two types of starches which are present in fruits, vegetables and cereals. These are very important types of carbohydrates which includes polysaccharide and then polysaccharides contain these starches. So starches are very important because we consume these starches on daily basis to get energy. So we are going to discuss uh, their difference between these two types of starches. So first the, dif the first difference is the in the structure of these two starches. Amylose starch is a straight chain polymer of glucose unit which are also known as D-glucose units. As you can see, this is a glucose molecule. This is also a glucose molecule. This is also a glucose molecule. These are linked together by help of a bond, which is known as glycosidic bond. So there are many of many molecules of D-glucose arranged together to form a larger molecule, which is known as a polymer, and it makes a starch, which is known as amylostarch. And usually these amylose starches have straight chain structure. But on the other hand, amylopectin starches are branched. These are also polymer of D-glucose and a branched chain polymer of D-glucose. As you can see, this is a straight chain molecule, straight chain polymer of glucose molecule. But right over here at number six point, you can see a branch. So there can be one or more than one branches on these type of starches. So such starches are known as amylopectin. The other difference is that usually starches contain 20%. Uh, it makes 20% of the starches. Amylo starch content in starch is 20%, while 80% content is of amylopectin. So amylopectin content in starch is about 80%. That's the second difference. Usually these uh, amylo starches have only one type of linkage which is glycosidic linkage and it is called 1,4 alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkage because these two glucose molecules are arranged. This is the number one carbon and this is the number four carbon of uh, these two glucose molecules. So that is why this uh, bond is known as alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkage and, and this is the only type of bond which is found in amylo starches but on the other hand amylopectin starches contain alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkage which is used to join these two glucose molecule but there is one more bonding which is known as alpha 1,6 glycosidic linkage which join two chains of glucose so as this is a one chain and this is the other chain these are linked together by one and six position of glucose molecules. Amylo starches are soluble in hot water while amylopectin starches are not soluble in water. These have a straight chain structure and these starches have uh, branched chain structures which are amylopectin. Amylo starches are usually present in potatoes and corn. These starches are also pre present in rice, potatoes and corn. So different types of starches contain different types of contact. Uh, a percentage of content of amylose and amylopectin. These are less sweet, these are sweeter than amylose starches. Amylopectin are more sweeter than amylose. So due to the, their less sweetness, they have low glycemic index. That it mean can it mean that these uh, amylose starches can give less amount of energy, less glucose molecule to the body. But on the other hand, amylopectin starches have higher glycemic index it can it means that it releases more glucose molecule and provide you more energy these starches amylo starches do not form uh, gel when dissolve in water because they are soluble in water and they dissolve inside the water while uh, amylopectin starches do not dissolve in water so that is why they form a gel like structure in the water if we do it perform a test in the laboratory for these starches iodine usually gives sorry Amylo starches give blue color with iodine, while amylopectin starches give reddish brown color with iodine. So that's all for today. See you in the next lecture.